SOLIDWORKS 2012 has a host of new tools for drawing for making the creation process and navigation of the documents associated easier than before. SOLIDWORKS has always had the ability to open any part directly from a drawing view. Now we also extend that capabilities to subassemblies as well. This means navigating and finding the correct documents is quicker and faster than before. Changes are an a necessary part of the design process and as we make these changes we need to make sure that any of the documentation associated with it is always up to date. But sometimes finding these changes can be a challenge. Wading through the many dimensions and annotations on a drawing can sometimes be tricky. SOLIDWORKS 2012 makes this easier than ever before by highlighting any changed dimension values on a drawing sheet. Not only does it highlight them in a unique color, but hovering over any changed dimension value will show its previous value to aid in the revision process. Views which are missing center marks due to holes created after the view was originally created can now be added as easily as adding center lines or initial view creation for center marks. Simply choose the options you want and all the center marks will be appropriately added to the drawing view. To aid in performance, the view palette no longer unnecessarily updates for minor changes. Users now have explicit control over updating the view palette, saving on open times and toggling between the assemblies and drawings themselves. Exploded views are also quicker and easier to make. SOLIDWORKS now automatically generates an isometric exploded view in the view palette if the assembly contains an exploded view. This can be easily dragged and dropped under the drawing sheet adding for quick view creation. Any view that has an assembly with an exploded view state can quickly be changed by toggling with a simple right mouse button now. No longer do users need to go into the file to the view properties to make these changes. And no assembly drawing would be complete without a bill of materials and balloons to populate it. Adding balloons is now even better in SOLIDWORKS 2012 thanks to two great new features. As we auto balloon, we have a new option to sequentially order the balloons around the drawing view. Users can even specify which balloon they want to be the first in the sequence. They can be reset at any time to quickly create these, these balloons. You'll notice that balloons also have a new object associated with them that called the magnetic line. Users familiar with 3D via Composer will already re immediately recognize the benefits of using this tool. Balloons and annotations can be quickly and easily snapped from one magnetic line to the other. They can be even equally spaced along that magnetic line. This way users can create just the right drawing with the balloons exactly the way they want.